Okay, so we're gonna get a white outdoor uh, riding mower here. Uh, we're gonna address these tires today. What's going on? You got to beat the thing off. Whoa. Somebody got off-roading in this thing. Oh, goodness. What goes on? Okay, Let's see if we can't flatten that sucker out with some slime in it. Hey guys, let's try the strap. Let's try a different strap. This thing's got to get tight, tight. Come on, bring her around. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we can gauge it a little bit better, guys. Shape up now. Shape up. I might just have to put a tube in it. Take a trip to check the soap. Check the supply should like give me like a socket set or something. I don't know. You know. I'm always in there. Looking at the chickens. Take this bob stem out and get a little bit more volume in there. You know. I'm just playing. I'm kind of like, just want to see if it's going to air up. That's all. So I can move it around while I'm working on it. I'm going to put a tube in it and new tire maybe.
Okay, now right when I turned off the the camera, it the bead popped. Alrighty. Now so you gotta hurry up and put that. that core back in there. Actually, no. We're gonna put a little bit of that slime in there real quick. And let the air out. Hopefully the bead don't pop back off. There we are. All right. I gotta get some more of this stuff, but it's this stuff is good stuff, this slime. What I like to do, see how it's got like that, a little bit of that green still on there? Wipe that off and then stick your tool in there and kind of clear that out before you put your, your uh, valve stem in there. I mean your valve core, rather. So, let's see here. And then of course afterwards what we have to do, we have to rotate it around and around. It says to drive it two miles, but we ain't driving it no time soon, so. Let's see what the recommended max pressure is. 14 pounds. That's quite a bit for this little tire. There we are. Alrighty. Do a little bit of spinning action here. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, so this is tire number two. Let's take the valve out, valve stem out, valve core. <laughs> I keep saying it wrong. Okay. Put a little bit of juice in there. I've had a lot of luck with this slime. Especially with these little guys, you know, uh, wheelbarrow tires, lawn tractor tires, things like that. Well, we're gone. We're about to be done with it. Look at that. Well, that ain't no doggone good. I'm gonna have to go back to track supply. All right, like I said, clean that off. Put that in there a little bit. Okay, put this stem back in there. This is, a, see a big crack right here? I'm gonna go like that before I try to put the air to her. Okay, it says 14 pounds. There go, 14 pounds right there. Do a little bit of this action. Well, well let, pay attention here. There you go. This. Break a sweat, you know. Get all stinky for your wife. For your significant other. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. Like I said, guys, this is just temporarily. If you're like in a in a pinch, you know, just grab some of this slime. It's good stuff. Alrighty. Even though this is done, I like hoarding these, you know, because I'm a hoarder. So we're gonna hoard that. Or you can get that big jug and just fill these. You know, they. That's annoying. Yeah. So, all right, let's go put it on the machine. Yeah, what I like to do, I like to pick up these from Harbor Freight. Um, I never reuse any of the uh, pins, so just, uh, you know, don't get in the habit of using old stuff. It just ain't, you, uh, you, you know, in the long run, oh, see this little thing right here? I'm just going to put this back on there. It's much easier to, to line it up uh, in the front than it is in the back. 
you know so hey that one went on pretty good the other one didn't go on as good that's the reason why i didn't show you i didn't want you to see the whole you know the whole backside and all yeah you don't need to see any of that all right let's see here put this on just like that okay there we are spinning a bunch of times Going to that speeding ticket there. All right, so let's see what else we can get into. Now, this is just so you can see. Now, don't be putting in the comments of, you know. I know I need a lift, everybody tells me. If you know where there's a lift that the uh, price starts with an F and ends with the free, let me know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this deck off. Cause something's still going on with that, uh, that cable. But like I said, I don't have a, a, uh, I don't have a uh, lift. So it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult trying to see if there's anything going on with the you know what's funny somebody put the wrong pin okay someone's been in here because this is the wrong pin this is the pin for that that down there okay I'm, I believe so I believe so like in 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 the past I've I've had it like that so come on now get it off of there Playing games. Well, it ain't gonna be easy, I guess. Yeah, this is the wrong pin. I mean, it should not be like that. I don't think, unless in the past I've taken off the wrong pin. I don't know. But yeah, this pin has gotta go. Yeah, that, that pin right there, that pin is the one I think that goes on the, can you see? Yeah, uh, I think this is the pin that goes on the, the little plastic piece for that cable. So that might be our, our whole deal there, you know. All right. One. I'm not going bore you, to bore you with the other side. I'll bring you back. So, let's see here. How's she looking? How is she looking? Kind of crusty. Crusty, crusty but trusty, eh? All right. Let's take a look at that cable. All right, so... On the bottom of that battery compartment, there's that cable. See it down there? Now we have to uh, pinch those those uh, little tabs there, and uh, and then bring that cable out and inspect that cable. Okay, now I got it out. Now it runs in behind that axle there, so you go down here. Let me get down here. Well, bear with me now. I'm that fast. All right, so. Well, where did it go? Okay, right here. All right, and then looks like it, it goes over 
on the top in that direction and I'll bring her out. Okay, there's a little tab back there on this side here uh, that this kind of hooks into. So, yeah, like right in this area, you can see guys kind of worn. But yeah, let's see if we can't free this thing up real quick. Alright, so we can't free this thing up. Sorry about the noise. Alright, so kind of stretch it out here. Kind of work this sheath sheathing back and forth. There she goes. Yeah, she's she's got some macaroni in there, guys. Exactly what's going on. Okay, now I have a a cable oiler. Let me see if I can find it. It's been a while since I used it. Yeah, I think I uh, may have lost it in the move. Uh, that uh, little oiler, but um, I'm just gonna take some WD-40 and see if that'll work. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. I know, I'm getting it everywhere, but beats buying another line you know all right all right let's put it back on the machine so you just uh you know of course you just take it and uh Put it back on there the way that you took it off. So I'm not gonna bore you with the uh, installation. I'll bring you back when I'm done. Before we do a little reassembly, let's just clean this up a little bit while we got it out. You know, you gotta be perfect. Looks like it ain't never been done his whole life, probably. But so, you know. In the spring, what I do, I drop it back down and I power wash it and maybe touch up some paint. But for right now, just to keep the shop a little bit cleaner, I'll do a little bit of cleaning the deck here. You get the point. Looks better now. Tell you what, don't get older, it kind of sucks. All right, now we got the deck back on. This is working great. Nice and sturdy now. All right. Well, folks, with that being said, well, let me turn that off here. With that being said, just remember, it's just nuts and bolts.
and God bless. Good Lord, what is going on in there? What do you say we shine her up a little bit, huh? Some of that, hit it with some of that grease lightning. Poor thing, ain't did nothing to nobody, got all neglected. We'll bring her around though. Love saving these old tractors. Like I always say, you treat your equipment good and they'll treat you good. You treat it bad, well, you know. Just a little, I mean, it's freezing outside, literally, it's 32 degrees, so we're just going to go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of that right there. Show you what my dad got me a bunch of these for Christmas. I love these things. Thanks, Dad. My dad watches the channel. All right. Look at that, huh? Oh, yeah. Like a new penny. Well, it ain't the Titanic, so. I don't know. Looking better already, huh? Like a little bit of spit shine there. Don't go spitting on it. Just use some. Cleaner. Don't take it literally. Please. Oh yeah. Oh, that shiny red. My dad likes these red ones. I always had red ones. Yeah. He always had those red ones. I like the red and the and the white. Put it down below and tell me if you like it too. Comment and subscribe. We really appreciate it here at Lewis, uh, Lewis Mowers and Boats. We really appreciate. It. Oh, oh, we hit uh, 83 subscribers. Very cool. Very cool. We're on our way to start. All right. Helps out the channel if you comment and you know watch the full video, please. I know sometimes you get busy, but it helps the channel out. There we are. Boy, oh boy, this thing's looking nice. Look at. Did you notice that there's no rips in the seats at all? You yeah, know, no rips in the seats at all. Not one rip. That's very rare with these old, old birds, you know. Yeah, those. Handy wipes come in handy. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Looking good. Looking sharp. Pretty dirty. Pretty dirty.
I think we're almost done, guys. Pretty cool. This thing has like got no rust on it. She said that she always had it in the garage. So I believe her. It's a little neglected, but we got it starting to come back around. All right, guys. Like I said, my family and I really appreciate you. And uh, thanks for watching.